Outside the front doors of this courthouse, the family of Mercedes Myron and their supporters offer a sacred song and prayer to the Creator for a safe journey over the coming weeks. On the eve of the trial for Jeremy Skibiki, a Caucasian man accused of killing Mercedes and three other Indigenous women, where Skibiki has pled not guilty on all charges, none of the charges have been proven in court. It's been very heavy on our hearts, um, very anxious, a lot of anxiety. Um, this next month is going to be very, very hard on us. Police believe Mercedes' remains are at this landfill outside the city, along with two of the other women, while the fourth woman's partial remains were found at the Brady landfill in 2022. Her grandmother Donna Bartlett shares with the crowd the struggle they've had with trying to get authorities to search for Mercedes' remains. Until we get her home, we'll be fighting to bring her home. Like I said, even a piece of her would be good. We'll have a piece of her at home at least. It wasn't until recently that both the federal and provincial government committed 20 million each for the search. Both have also dedicated a combined 700,000 to support the families throughout the trial. Manitoba's Grand Chief says there shouldn't be a one-time commitment because self-care is essential for victims and families going through trials. It's needed in all our communities, all our nations, that we be able to provide that mental support, that spiritual support and, and that cultural support to be able to uh, go into ceremony. Something that's been crucial to help keep the Myron family stay strong over the past year. Uh, plenty of supports. So a lot of organizations have been helping us. Also, just the community coming out and supporting us has been very big. While the next few weeks will be some of the longest days for all of the victims' families, the Myrans hold on to days like this, where they can celebrate Mercedes' life and keep her spirit alive. T.R. Wheatley, APTN National News, Winnipeg.